what it was going to do with you. Well, that stuff already went to the thrift shop. Oh, these are a few more of Mrs. Montgomery's things. I forgot to give them. Very painful for me to have Susan's belongings around here. I still haven't gotten over her accident. I understand. I'll see these get you the thrift shop right away. Make sure you get a receipt. I'm sorry I'm late, Arlene. Mm. My bus was late. I never even noticed. No, There's some new boxes in the back room need to be unpacked. Sure. <laughs> Wait on those two over there first, will you? Yeah, it's just what I've always wanted. Oh, oh no, I've a... No, uh, in mine. In mine. Could, could I... I got... Uh, <laughs> could I... Could I help you with something? Uh, <laughs> you could try the dress on if you want. Uh, maybe you should try it on. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'd brighten up your love life. I was just wondering, can I help you with something? Yeah. I think I want to buy something. I think I'd like to buy you something. Oh, no. That's okay. I don't need anything. Oh, come on. Pretty woman like you. You must need something. No. No, really. Well, would you uh, excuse me for a minute? I just have to go in the back.
run off to, baby. I missed you out here. Buzz off. Creep. Maddie, where are you going? Maddie, what's wrong? You come back here. $18.20. Keep the change. Hey, what are you doing? I don't want your purse. Hey! at Inez. Oh, I know, this dress, isn't it the worst? I'm gonna take a shower and then I want you to burn it. No, wait. Why? What is it? What's wrong? Are you a, a friend of Mr. Montgomery's? <laughs> well, that's very good, Inez. That's very good. I like the way you put that. Stop. Whoever you are, you can't just come in here and pretend you own this place. I would have to get Mr. Montgomery's permission before I could allow you to stay. He didn't say anything about having guests. Now, what's wrong, Inez? Has Carlito been running around on you again? Why don't you dump him? I mean, you could take all that money you've been saving from those holiday bonuses Mr. Montgomery's been giving you and start over. Now, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the bonuses. Your secret's still safe with me. OK, I'm going to take a shower. I want to be nice and fresh for when Kyle gets home. Twenty dollars out for the fare. This is your purse, isn't it? And your name is Mavi Duncan. Where am I? What am I doing here? Don't you remember? What's wrong with you? Well, I, I, I was. Uh... I was, you know, I was at work, and uh, I was in the storeroom, and, and now I'm here. How did you know about my account? Nobody knew about that except Mrs. Susan. How did you know? Were you a friend of Mrs. Susan? Mrs. Susan who? Susan Montgomery, who do you think? I don't know any Susan Montgomery. Look, um, if you don't mind, I, could I just go back to the, to the thrift store now? Are you sick? Crazy? You come in here. Talk about things you don't know. Act like you belong here somehow. Well, I'll tell you something. You don't belong here. You better get your clothes on and get out of here right now. Before I call the police. What did you do with your shoes? <gasps> Now, I thought 
I told you to burn this? I told her I didn't want to be disturbed. Yes, I know, but there's this woman on the line. She wants to speak to you, and she says she can't wait. What woman? Well, she says she's your wife. That's not funny, Lori. I know, but that's what she said. I, I would have hung up on her, but she acted like she knew me, too. <laughs> she even asked me about my boyfriend by name. I think you better talk to her. All right. This is Kyle Montgomery. You don't know how good it is to hear your voice again, Kyle. Who is this? Well, don't you recognize my voice? No. Shame on you. It hasn't been that long, has it? Well, it's me. Susan. Susan who? Susan, your lovely wife. My wife is dead. She died in an accident a little over a month ago. So you say. Look, whoever you are, this is an extremely twisted and perverse little joke you're trying to pull, and I don't appreciate it, not one bit. I want you to know this legally qualifies as harassment. Oh, threats? Am I hearing threats? to somebody you've already killed. Where are you? Well, I'm at home. Where else would I be? I'm getting ready to fix a Manhattan. It's your favorite drink. You always like the way I fix them. Hmm, I guess that was the only thing you liked about me toward the end there. Kyle? Kyle, where'd you go? Are you coming home, darling? <laughs> You'd better get down, Fritz. You know Kyle doesn't like you sitting on the furniture. What do you want? I'm the Wicked Witch of the East. Maybe you'd better drop a house on me next time. Perhaps it will be more permanent. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're talking about. You don't belong in this house. Oh, well, would you like me to fix you one? Who are you? Tell me who you are! <laughs> oh, now that's the Kyle that I know and love. And that's the Kyle I know all too well. Those shoes. Where did you get them? Don't be silly, darling. You bought them for me. I was wearing them the night that you pushed me off that balcony. My wife. My wife fell from the balcony. She was dancing on the concrete railing. She, she had too much to drink. And I suppose the police bought that story, didn't they? But you see, 
see, I'm not the police. I'm someone with a little more intimate knowledge of what happened that night. <laughs> You're clever. You're very clever. Where were you that night? I don't remember seeing you at the party. Are you kidding? I was a star attraction. My wife is dead. She fell from the balcony. She broke her neck. feel better than I did that night when I felt your hands shoving me off that railing. Can you imagine how terrified I was? Falling backwards like that. I didn't think I'd ever hit the ground. All I could see was the sky and the stars. And then when I did hit... No! Over here, darling. It's judgment day. The jury's turned in its verdict. Guilty as charged. A policia. Yes, the police. Hurry. And you'd never seen this woman before? No, never. A woman shows up, pretending to be your wife, calls you at work, gets you to come home, and then starts taking shots at you for no reason. What can I say? There's a lot of crazies out there. Maybe she knew Susan. I, I don't know. Well, we have her description. I'll get this circulated right away. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Lieutenant? My uh, clients, all important people in this town are very picky about whom they do business with. If word about this should get out, they might have second thoughts about me representing them. Your career is uh, more important to you than your life? Is that what you're saying? Since my wife died, Lieutenant, my career is my life. I'd uh, just prefer to forget the whole thing. I'll hire some security to watch the house for a couple of weeks. In case this nutcase comes back again. Now, you and your wife were um, happily married, Mr. Montgomery? Yeah. I miss her a great deal. Well, we'll keep it under our hat. If things should come up, I'll call you, personally. Thanks. I appreciate that. She's 
She didn't give you any other name? No. You have no idea who she was? No idea. You know, I, um, I think I'll, uh, move out to the beach. I'll, I'll stay there for a while. Shut up this house. Won't be needing your services anymore. I'll give you a month's severance pay, of course. But I want you out today. I was going to give notice anyway. Take uh, Fritz with you. What is it? Do you believe in ghosts, Mr. Kyle? Get out. As we walk through life, if we learn nothing else, we learn the only sure things are death and taxes. Well, one out of two isn't bad. And haven't we all said you can't take it with you? Another comforting adage without exceptions in the real world that somehow goes all wonky when considering exit lines delivered in the Twilight Zone.